It takes a special kind of actor to be able to take a small, minute role, sometimes one that only takes up a couple of minutes of screen time, and turn it into something special. Not to say it's easy being the headlining act of a film either, but for those actors with only a handful of minutes in front of the camera, it's all about maximising what's on the table and making the most of the scene itself. I'm Scott from WhatCulture.com and these are the 10 best movie characters who only appear in one scene. Number 10, Vincent Gray, The Sixth Sense. Donny Wahlberg's Vincent may have only been on screen for a matter of minutes and just in the one scene, but he's the guy who sets the tone for what lies ahead in The Sixth Sense. Having dropped a ludicrous 40 pounds for the role, Wahlberg's character is an angry, scared and desperate ball of emotion who shoots Bruce Willis's Malcolm Crowe and then kills himself during the opening moments of the film. While audiences spent 95% of The Sixth Sense watching an alive and well Malcolm, it would of course be revealed that Willis's character was actually dead courtesy of that opening gunshot. As such, it could be argued that Vincent is actually the most important and impactful character of the whole story. Number 9, Paige Tico, Star Wars The Last Jedi. Regardless of your thoughts on the 8th entry in the grander Skywalker saga, one thing that all audiences seemed to agree on was that Paige Tico was one of the very best parts of the film. Faced with horrendous odds in the intro, no fan Van's Paige sacrifices herself for the greater good. As the sole person left alive during a bombing run to destroy one of the First Order's hefty ships, she embraces the explosion and knows that while she will die, at least she's dealt a huge blow to this next wannabe empire. Number 8, Thunder Lips, Rocky 3. In Rocky 3, Hulk Hogan's Thunder Lips turns up to take on Sly Stallone's titular Balboa for a charity contest of wrestler versus boxer. The match ends in a draw, but the fun was seeing the overmatched Rocky being slapped around by a pre-Hulkamania Hulk Hogan. Rocky eventually turns the tables and throws Thunder Lips over the top rope for the bout's conclusion, but that only meant that Thunder Lips himself was remembered by Rocky fans forevermore. Number 7, Bob Barker, Happy Gilmore. Playing an amped up ass kicking version of himself in 1996's Happy Gilmore, Bob Barker completely devoured the scenery in the time he was given. Out of nowhere, the Price is Right host joins Adam Sandler's Happy in a tournament match, only for Gilmore to get too annoyed with rival Shooter McGavin's comments, leaving the pair to place last. After a few snide back and forths between Barker and Sandler, Gilmore snaps and lays out Bob, only for Barker to fire back and the pair to go at it. Even when the younger, stronger Happy Gilmore gets the better of Bob, he rises back up like The Undertaker to land one last beatdown and emerge victorious. Number 6, Casey Becker, Scream. When it comes to characters setting the tone for an entire movie, and to be honest, the entire franchise, they don't get much better than Drew Barrymore's Casey Becker. Killed in the opening moments of Wes Craven's first Scream film, she was only on screen for 15 minutes, yet Casey set out the terms and conditions of Scream as an IP forevermore. With the initial marketing materials having Barrymore front and centre, and with her name as the headline act, seeing Becca killed off after a prolonged opening scene was straight up unthinkable. However, that was such a key part of what made Scream stand out from the pack, changing the horror game in 1996. Number 5, Rahad Jackson, Boogie Nights. While Alfred Molina may be most famous for his nefarious role as Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man 2, one of his great turns is actually one of his smallest. See, Paul Thomas Anderson's Boogie Nights may have chronicled the rise and fall of Mark Wahlberg's Dirk Diggler, but the film had a stunning ensemble cast. One such inclusion is Alfred Molina, though his Rahar Jackson was a fleeting brief part of Boogie Nights' larger picture. When Wahlberg's Diggler and the gang visit local drug dealer Jackson with the intent of passing off baking soda as cocaine, the tension is slowly amped up as Molina's calm and cool Rahad gets to dominate the entire scene. Blasting Night Ranger's sister Christian, he really is the only one. Number 4, X, JFK. One of the biggest flaws of this divisive flick is the inclusion of character X, someone who was created purely for Oliver Stone's 1991 movie, despite it otherwise supposedly being factually correct. Whether X was a real person or not, that doesn't stop him from being one of the most important characters in the whole film. Appearing for just one scene opposite Kevin Costner's Jim Garrison, X delivers the revelation that the assassination of John F. Kennedy was a group effort involving the CIA, the FBI, the Secret Service, the Mafia, and Lyndon Johnson. 
Encouraging Garrison to keep on digging deep on his mission to discover the truth, X explains how Kennedy was killed because he wanted to pull the US out of the Vietnam War and that he was also going to disband the CIA. In that one 14 minute scene, Donald Sutherland went down in history, delivering one of the best speeches of his career. Number three, Mrs. Miller. Doubt. So impressive was Viola Davis's performance as Mrs. Miller in 2008's Doubt, it instantly propelled the actress from a minor player in big movies to a superstar who proudly had an Academy Award nomination under her belt. The Mrs. Miller character herself is a very troubled one, playing the mother of a son who is allegedly being molested by a priest. After hearing this news, Miller's one scene saw her react not quite in the way that people would expect. Instead of shock, anger, or even vengeance, she believes that all of this is God's plan. As such, Mrs. Miller openly admits that she would rather turn a blind eye to these accusations of molestation rather than have them investigated and be proven true. She even adds more weight to this by revealing that her father would kill the boy if he found out that Donald was gay and or he was being abused. The fact that Viola Davis received an Oscar nomination for just eight minutes of screen time should tell you how memorable and troubled a character that Miss Miller is. Number two, Captain Coons, Pulp Fiction. Taking place in flashback, this scene showed how Bruce Willis's Butch received the gold watch that he holds so dearly in the present day across Pulp Fiction. As the young Butch sits a foot away from his TV set, Christopher Walken's Captain Coons arrives on the scene. Captain Coons regales Butch with a tale about a gold watch. Not just any gold watch, but the one that Butch's great-grandfather got during World War I and that has since been passed down through every generation of the Coolidge boys. Now, following the death of his father, the watch belongs to Butch. Walken spends four solid minutes delivering a story of how the watch had spent five years hidden inside Butch's father's behind before Coons himself stored the watch in his own behind for a further two years. Only after the old man passed away from dysentery did he come across to talk to Butch. And also thanks to Tarantino for making this stuff up so people like me can talk about it on YouTube. And number one, Blake, Glen Gary Glen Ross. Few actors and characters have ever made quite as much of an impression on an audience as Alec Baldwin's Blake in Glengarry Glen Ross. As it happens, Baldwin's character doesn't actually exist in the Pulitzer Prize winning play that the movie was based on. But this just goes to show that sometimes adding new elements to existing source material can prove to be a masterstroke if done right. Blake holds court for one of the greatest monologues in 90s cinema. Spitting sheer acid for 10 minutes, Blake encompasses everything that was the high pressure, high end sales environment of the 80s and 90s. Blake is the encapsulation of so much of what drives Glengarry Glen Ross, and with Baldwin's fiery delivery, the character remains ridiculously popular, even though it's almost three decades since the movie was released. And those are our picks for the best movie characters who only appeared in one scene. Let me know your favourites down in the comments below. For now, I've been Scott from whatculture.com and I'll catch you soon.